Turk's PS Plus pressure sensor is a programmable sensor used to measure pneumatic or hydraulic pressure. Its cost efficiency, flexibility, and long service life makes it the perfect sensor for pressure monitoring in automated machining applications, offering simple commissioning and maximum system availability. Let me show you how easy it is to program a PS Plus using the capacitive touchpads. Before starting, it is helpful to review the instruction leaflet for the PS Plus to understand how to navigate the settings. You can find the link to the instruction leaflet in the description below. In this example, we are using the PS310-1-01-LI2UPN8-H1141. For this example, we need to ensure the ideal operating pressure is between 3 psi and 6 psi, and we want to notify personnel when the pressure goes above or below these two points. Let's program the PS Plus to have a PNP output on output 1 of the sensor that turns on when the pressure drops below 3 psi and when the pressure goes above 6 psi. Let's also set the sensor screen to turn red when the pressure goes below 3 psi or above 6 psi. To program the PS Plus, you first need to unlock it. To unlock, press the Enter touchpad for 4 seconds and then swipe all touchpads from left to right. With the PS Plus unlocked, let's first set the desired pressure units to PSI. You can do this by navigating the menu with the Mode and Set capacitive touchpads. Once you get to the units menu, press Enter and hold the set touchpad for 3 seconds until the screen stops blinking. You can then use the Mode and Set touchpads to navigate the various pressure units in the menu until you get to PSI. Press Enter to set the units. With the pressure units set, let's put our sensor into Window Function Mode. Use the Mode and Set touchpads to navigate the menu to Output 1. Press Enter and then hold the set touchpad for 3 seconds until the display stops blinking. Use the mode and set touchpads to navigate the menu until you reach FNC. Press the enter touchpad. This will set output 1 to window function mode. With the window mode set, let's set up our 3 psi pressure switch point. Remember, we are setting up this sensor to have a PNP output on output 1 when the pressure goes below 3 psi and when the pressure goes above 6 psi. Using the mode and set touchpads to navigate the menu, go to FL1, lower switch point, and press the enter touchpad. Hold the set touchpad for 3 seconds until the display stops blinking and use the mode and set touchpads to set the value to 3 psi. Once the display is showing 3 psi, press the enter touchpad to lock in the value. This will set the lower pressure switch point. Back in the main menu, let's navigate to output 1, FH1 upper switch point, and press the enter touchpad. Hold the set touchpad for 3 seconds until the display stops blinking, and use the mode and set touchpads to navigate to 6 psi, and press enter. This will set the upper pressure switch point. Let's also set the sensor screen to turn red when the pressure goes below 3 psi or above 6 psi. In the main menu, use the mode and set touchpads to navigate to the EF extra functions menu. Press enter. Use the mode and set touchpads to navigate to the color menu. Press enter and hold the set touchpad for 3 seconds until the display stops blinking. 
Then, use the mode and set touchpads to navigate to R1OU and press Enter. Referring to the instruction leaflet for the PS Plus, this setting will set the PS Plus display to green if output 1 is switched. Otherwise, the display will be red. To lock the sensor and revert back to the display screen, hold the mode and set touchpads simultaneously for 4 seconds.